Here we have a Dell Alienware that came in for a display connector replacement. Customer ripped off the display connector right over here. And I told Big Buzz, do not take the motherboard out. It's a big hassle to take apart this laptop and then to reassemble the laptop. A big waste of time. And I think we can work on replacing the connector while everything is as is without taking the laptop apart. The area is tight, but it's doable. Let's see if it's possible to work on this connector without removing the motherboard. I mean, right now, if we use the NF.mini soldering pen, I think we can easily, we should be able to easily get to the pins in the front. The display connects from the back here. So the socket should be facing downwards and we're going to solder the pins. We should be able to do it. In the event that we cannot do it, then I'll ask Big Boss to remove the motherboard, spend the time. But for now, we're going to work on it as is, like this. Save time. We have six million things to do here. And I would rather not spend a lot of time taking the motherboard out. Before we do anything, let's prep the pads. Today, we sold the last syringe of 559 Amtec Flux. And right now, we are out of stock. We should be getting a shipment soon, but I do not have an ETA. It may take a week or two. Hopefully, we get them before. And if you do not already know, we are a major distributor for Amtec Flux, biggest resellers of genuine Amtec Flux. I need to use a bigger tip because the tip can only hold so much solder. A small tip can hold a little bit of solder, big tip can hold more solder. So right now the small tip that we were using was not able to keep up with this blob because it's tiny. So we use a bigger tip. See? UPS came in, just a minute. What's up, Danny? How are you, man? Pretty good, how are you? All right, you're gonna come back later? Sure. Or? Yeah, yeah, I'll be Maybe in about an hour or so. Close to the park hour. Yeah, yeah. Cool. All right, man, I'll see you. Right. Take care. We just received 16 packages from China. Let me just open one of them. I wanna see what's inside. We have new products coming in and we have products that are currently out of stock. What do we have here? 10 watt UV lamp is back in stock. The shears are back in stock. Atomizers are back in stock. And solder paste is back in stock. And that's package one. We're gonna have to go over all the packages. Oh my God, another customer, just a minute. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, brother, how are you? What's going on? Hey, you want a battery? What is battery it? Battery change? All right, let's do it, bro. Okay, so you're gonna come back in 30 minutes? Sure. All right. And can I give you cash? Yeah. Okay, great. Yeah. You want it, what do you want? The good thing is all the pads are intact. We do not have any missing pads. We have a video working on the same laptop where we had to restore missing pads. And those pads are tiny. The traces are super tiny. And now we're gonna grab a connector and see how it goes. It looks like the last four pins are connecting with each other. They share one pad. I just wanted to make sure. 
mean, I can tell you the area is tight, but I brought this on myself. I told Big Boss not to take it apart because I can do it, but the area is tight. See, one, two, three, four, they all connect with the same pad, so it's okay if they bridge. That's not a concern. Right there, they all share the same pad. And those three, they share the same pad. Anything else? It's good to know your enemy before you attack. So we know what we are looking at if we got a bridge here. Because of those pads sharing the same pad, then it's okay. Shared pads, they always like to stick together. And just like that, look at the line on the back. So the line is our guide. Just like that. If we can keep that connector like that, in that position, that's awesome. But as soon as we touch it to solder, it may move. This is a gaming laptop. If the laptop wanna play games, we are ready, we'll play games. We are the kings of games. Apply some flux without touching the connector. Precision is the key here. What if we hold that connector with my finger? because nothing is more precise than a finger. And let's use our NF.mini pen. And that's nice. We got several questions about this NF.mini pen where people are asking, do I have to press on the button in order to use the pen? You do not have to push on the button. All you have to do is touch the button. It's like you're holding the pen, but let your finger touch the button. If your finger is not touching the button, the pen is gonna go into sleep mode. So it can save the tip from burning out. That will increase the life of the tip. I've been using the tip on this NF.mini pen for the past, how long? Like four months. And look at the tip, it's holding solder like it's brand new. So you do not need to press on the button, just touch the button. Look, there's a button here. If you do not press on the button, then the pen will go into sleep mode. And the reason it goes into sleep mode is so that it can save, it can elongate the life of the tip. When you are soldering, all you have to do is just touch the button. You do not have to push it in. You do not have to put force on it. You do not have to press it. Just touch, that's it. Now it's on. Okay, when I touch the button, it's on. If I remove my finger, it may stay on for a few seconds and then it's gonna go into sleep mode. All I have to do is touch, slight touch. Very, very easy, I love the pen, I love it. Not because it's ours and we sell it, but because it's very practical. I mean, I could not have used anything other than the NF.mini pen to solder this connector. Look at the tip I have here. The NFN is meant for small jobs like this, small pins, small traces. And just look how solder sticks onto the tip and how solder is flawlessly transferred over to the pads, to the pin. And that's a sign of a good tip. Just look at the precision on this pen, amazing. Absolutely amazing. I solder all day and I know when I have a good soldering pen, a good tip. Just look at the precision. Those pins are very close to each other. The pitch, I believe the pitch is 0 0.5 millimeters. Just look at how solder is transferring over. 
and making an awesome solder joint on the pins and pads. Only a few more to go. I think we need to add more flux here because we're going dry. And that's what I like about the knife tip. It's pointy from the front. And I can utilize and use the whole tip flat down if I want more heat transfer for bigger components. This pen is used for small components, but you can still manage to work with maybe 402 size components using this pen, 603 size components, especially if the board is only two layers, like a band key fob. If you are working on a GPU, then there's no way that you can use this pen to remove or solder components, especially when that board is like 12 layers, 10 layers, you need a bigger tip. A bigger tip means more heat transfer. For jobs like this, the NF dot mini pen is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Those two can bridge, it's okay. Just quickly go over it, over the pins one more time. And I don't think we are in focus. Right now we're in focus. What I like about this pen is the fact that the tip is short. You have other soldering pens sold in the market where the tip is that big. You're holding the pen and the tip is extending that much. You do not have precision. With this one, I'm maybe about an inch away from where I'm holding that pen. So precision is key. You have a lot of precision working with this pen. People need to understand when the tip is long, you do not have precision. The shorter the tip, the more precision you have. Let's use our anti-glare light so we can get rid of reflections, just like that. We still have flux on the board. Let's clean up and then we can test the pins, make sure everything is solid. We did an absolutely amazing job and we did not even have to take the board out of the laptop. Everything is done from the surface. What does NF stand for? Northridge Fix. Our products are branded with NF. We have new fume extractors coming in. NF.fume, UV lamps, NF.UV lamp, NF.mini, NF.probes. Anytime you see NF, it's Northridge Fix. We can use NF.MP2. If you have not bought one already, you can log into our site and purchase one. It looks something like this. Two needle probes. One of them is bent and the other one is straight. So let's use the bent one to probe and check if the pins are making a good connection, a solid connection with the pads. And let me show you how those needle probes look like. They are super fine and they are meant to go in between pins like this, very fine pins. I mean, those pins are microscopic and just look at the needle probe. Look at this. Look at how fine that needle probe is. I can use it to clean in between pins. I can use it to test pins. I can use it to, to maybe take stuff out from inside. Very fine. And the straight one looks like this. Let's go ahead and check. Make sure all the pins are solid. That's the first one. No, we can clean like this. Solid, solid. I'm not going to say solid for every pin, but you get the point. If a pin is not solid, you'll see it and I'll mention it. Or I can keep boring you and say solid. 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 Beautiful. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, how did we miss that one? This, this, and this, they all connect to one pad. So even if we did not solder that pin, we're okay. Because two others, two other pins that connects with that one are already soldered on to the pad. But of course, we aim for perfection. 
Let's take care of it. Let's check again. We can clean up later. Start from here. This one is now solid. 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 I cannot help but say solid for every pin. And we're almost there. Solid. This, 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 and this. They are all connecting to one pad. So it's okay if all of them bridged, or two of them, or three of them, or one of them. It doesn't matter. And I'm going to go over this connector just one more time. I do not want to give it to Big Boss. And then him telling me that we have a problem. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, sixteen. What kind of number is that? Amazing. We did an absolutely amazing job. And why not use that probe to clean in between pins? Just like I'm doing now. Usually when we carry and sell a tool, when we decide to carry and sell a tool, we do it because I got so excited about using the tool and I want to share it with you. So we make a deal with the factory and we carry it. It's not easy dealing with factories to get the products. But that's how I spend half my day beside repairs. I'm always speaking and talking to factories, trying to bring in new products. Then we have to agree on the quantity and then on the price and then on shipping and then customs and then 101 things we need to do to carry a product. You get everything from one shop, from northrushakes.com, but it's really a lot of hassle to carry everything and contact 30, 40, 50 different vendors to get products from. It's a lot of hassle. Okay, so right now we're all done. We just have the anchor points to worry about because we do not have any pads on the anchor points. So I'm going to apply just a tiny bit of glue right here and a tiny bit of glue on the far end here and then give it to Big Boss to reassemble, to reassemble the screen, not the laptop. And then we can test. Hopefully it's a fix. Now what I did is I grabbed an ear swab and I cut the ear swab at an angle. So we have something like this. I got an ear swab. Okay, and I cut it at an angle with this cutter. So now we have a very sharp edge on this because I do not want glue to go inside the connector. And that's it, we're done. I'm gonna hand this over to Big Boss to reassemble and test. Reassemble the screen and not the laptop. We did not take the laptop apart. There's no reason why we would not see an image on the screen. The laptop does power on, but there's nothing on the screen because of the connector. All the pins are soldered on nicely. And I see no reason why the laptop would not display anything on the screen after we soldered the connector, unless there's something else wrong with the laptop. I think we're gonna leave the laptop on the side for 20, 30 minutes until the glue hardens and then we'll connect the screen and i'll be back big boss is almost done with the reassembly he just called me and we are about to find out if soldering this lvds connector will solve the problem <laughs> Mm. 
yes yes the laptop is working and we did an amazing job soldering that connector amazing amazing one out and six million more to go thank you big boss thank you boss of all bosses always i hope you enjoyed the video let me know what you think leave it down in the comments don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll do something else in the next video